you know, all this was brand new to me and a whole world opened up to me, which a whole world with opportunities. Keith was marketed as a ladies man, you know, and I used to see Keith walking around LA and he would always be dressed to the nines and he did it well, it was very natural for him. We used to kind of nickname him like the Dark Gable. He embodied sophistication. I remember one time the radio station was promoting a, a ladies only night with Keith. So we went and bought him some silk pajamas. I mean, it was packed, so they were right up on him. And then halfway through the show, he takes off the top. They lost their buying over Keith. <laughs> they really did. Yeah, when the women started throwing their drawers at him. <laughs> it's true. I was like, oh, OK, what is happening here? Um, for me, that was a turning point. My regret is that because I knew I had a good wife, I knew I had a great wife, actually, someone really stood by me through my hardship of coming up, I became more of, of acting as though I'm a single man than a married man. You know, you can't do wrong and expect right to come out of it. So. It was tough on her. It didn't bother me at first. I didn't think I had anything to worry about. I knew he loved me. I was naive to think love was all you needed. I wasn't ready to get off my throne. I was the wife, and everybody else was whatever. 